I'm here with William Buck. You're the Managing Director of McDonald Company, Environment and Energy. Each year the company sends out a salary survey, but this year you've included a series of environmental questions. Can you explain why this was? Yes. Um, McDonald Company normally recruits specifically in the real estate industry. And as a, a lead on from that, um, we have launched an environmental and energy recruitment division. So with that in mind, we've asked some specific questions to the the professionals who responded to our survey this year, just about some key environmental issues relating to green building in the region. And what were the key findings of these questions? Well, one of the main questions was just a sort of market sentiment question, really, to see whether those respondents who are working in the industry within real estate feel that the region, the Middle East region, is doing enough to, to help the carbon footprint. And an overwhelming percentage <laughs> of people said no. Um, so that about 80% of people said that they don't feel the real estate industry in the region is doing enough and that was one of the main questions that, uh, that we asked this year. Okay. You mentioned the other one was the um, pearl rating in Abu Dhabi. Absolutely. Can you explain a bit more about that? Yes. Estadama um, is basically the new green building regulation that's been brought in by the Abu Dhabi government. Very similar to LEED in America or uh, BRIAM in the UK. And previously this has been a voluntary system. But as of September this year, the government has brought it in as mandatory. So what this means is any new building development project in Abu Dhabi has to undergo an assessment and it has to adhere to the Pearl Rating System and get at least Grade 2 if it's going to be allowed to be built in, in the city. Do you think this is something that Dubai should be doing as well? Well, Dubai actually is the only part of the Middle East that has LEED accredited buildings in place at the moment. There is one LEED accredited building in Qatar, um, sorry, in Saudi Arabia. but. Um, Dubai itself has 35, I think, lead accredited buildings. So they are looking at green building regulations, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if Estadama, if it goes well in Abu Dhabi, might be rolled out to the UAE and, and other parts okay. of the Middle East as well. And how vital do you think it is that the UAE starts to think green? It's absolutely vital. I think if you look at um, carbon emissions globally, uh, the carbon emissions per capita in the, UAE, in the Middle East is, well, in the UAE, it's 80 tonnes per capita per person. Um, and, and compare that into the UK, which is eight tons per person, or uh, the US even, which is r r remarkably bad anyway, and that's at 20 tons per person. So you can see how bad the carbon footprint is in this part of the world. So it's hugely important moving forward. And what steps do you think, as a whole, the UAE could be doing? Well, I think uh, the, the building industry itself, the, the property development industry, is, is trying. Uh, we're starting to move forward. The governments really need to come forward with initiatives, um, not only preventing people from leaving a, a large footprint, but also incentivising people to, to make an effort. It's not just enough to say, OK, we'll, we'll give you a pearl rating two, three, but if, if organisations are going to take that extra step further, then governments can, can put incentives in place and reward companies for, for acting in a better way. Mr Buck, thank you very much. Yeah.